my channel, Our Living Book. My name is Victoria. Today's video is all about our world history cycle. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've heard me mention that we use a picturesque tale of progress along with a few other books for world history. Um, we use Ambleside Online and Modern Mobilis for everything else and follow those weekly lesson plans. But for world history, we decided that we prefer a chronological four-year cycle. We just find that that works better for our family. So we use primarily a picturesque tale of progress, and we really love these books. These were originally published in the 1920s. The author is Olive Miller. Um, and we just love these stories. It's told in the form of a story. My son really, really enjoys these books. I don't have to bug him to do his history. And he's told me in a number of occasions how much he enjoys his history books. So, but these only cover from the beginning of history to around the year 1500. So we use the story of the worlds three and four uh, to finish up to modern history. And I'll explain how we kind of use everything. So basically what I did was I counted up the number of pages that would need to be read in the course of four years to finish the cycle and divided that by the number of days I wanted to be doing history. And so averaging out, we like doing history four days a week um, and we read five pages a day and that has us right on track. So Evan is in his second year and he is right on track where he should be to finish in time um, at the end of eighth grade. And, and once eighth grade is done, we plan on jumping into Modern Amabilis' high school plans for world history because it kind of goes through, at that point, ancient all the way to modern for all four years of high school. So he'll get three cycles of ancient history to modern history all throughout his um, homeschooling education. So <clears throat> uh, I will preface this by saying that we do not read the first three chapters of the first book. It's called Beginnings One. It's a very evolutionary narrative and it just doesn't line well with our worldview. So instead we swap that out for Adam and His Kid by Ruth Beecher. I really like this book. Um, I think in the future though, when we do our second round, so we'll go through the cycle, first, second, third, and fourth grade, and then we start over again in fifth grade. I think when I have Liam start over again, I'm going to have him read Genesis Finding Our Roots by Ruth Beechick instead of Adam and his kin. So um, Adam and his kin is a little bit more of a storytelling way of presenting um, uh, early biblical history and uh, that's why we like it for the younger age. <clears throat> so we start off with Adam and his kin and then we jump into chapter four of A Picturesque Tale of Progress Beginnings One and that lands us right into early Egyptian ancient history. So um, I'll just show you what these illustrations look like. We have the color illustrations and we just love them. Uh, there's pictures on every page, which my kids love, and my son loves this book. So that's book one. Book two, beginnings two. Um, I'll read to the, the table of contents out to you. Um, let's see. Babylonia, the land of two rivers, the Assyrian Empire, the Chaldean Empire in Babylon, Hebrew wanderers, Moses and the conquest of Canaan, the United Kingdom of Israel, the Divided Kingdoms, The Fall of Jerusalem. So that's book two. And then book three is Conquests One. Evan is in this book now. Um, I'll read that table of contents as well. The Island of Crete, the beginning of Greece, the, a time of settlement and growth, the threat of Persian conquests, days of the Athenian Empire, Alexander conquers the Eastern world, and Hellenistic Egypt. So this is all ancient Greece in book three. He's in this now. So following our plan of reading about five pages a day, four days a week, um, that puts him finishing a portion of book three, so a little bit less than halfway, 
by the end of the first year. Um, now, the, it looks like a lot of reading for one year for world history, but keep in mind the text isn't incredibly small and there's a lot of pictures in these books. So reading five pages, you're not really reading five pages a day. So <clears throat> it's not overwhelming at all. And he had no complaints. He really, really enjoyed reading these books. So beginning uh, sixth grade, he just picks up where he leaves off. So we're still in ancient Greece. Then he'll jump into uh, book four, Conquests Two. I believe this is Rome. Yep, Rome in the Western world, Rome conquers Carthage, the Roman Republic, the early Roman Empire, the story of Christianity, and Christianity conquers the empire. So this is all about ancient Rome. Love these illustrations, guys. And I will say that every single book uh, in the back has a summary of the entire book, and I want to say it's like 10 or 12 pages. Um, so, you know, you as the parent, if you don't want to or can't pre-read the entire book, you can just read that summary because it gives you a really good overview of what the book covers. So that is book four. Book five is New Nations One. This... Uh, okay, the breaking up of the Roman Empire, barbarians invade the Western Empire, the Eastern or Byzantine Empire, a new power arises in the East, the Franks, the medieval church, the Viking adventurers, and life in the feudal age. So that is New, new Nations 1. Book 6, New Nations 2, is covers the glory of the Byzantine Empire, the Crusades, Europe after the Crusades, United Christians, Spain expels the Moors, the development of the English nation, France becomes an absolute monarchy, Germany and the Holy Roman Empire, Italian city-states and the Renaissance. So that is New Nations 2. Explorations 1 is book 7. And I'll read those to you. Contents are Marco Polo explores the East, Genghis Khan conquers Asia, Mongol conquests in Russia and the West, the Mongol conquest of Persia, the Mongols in China, around Africa to India, India, land of wealth and splendor. So that is Explorations 1. And then the last book in the series is Explorations 2. This is all about the Americas. Land in the West, Ancient America, the brilliant civilization of the Mayas, the conquest of Mexico, the Indians of the Southwest, and the conquest of Peru. So that is where the series ends. So right around the year, right before 1500, um, ending with the conquest and exploration of the Americas. So then uh, we will pick up from there with the story of the world, but I will jump in right when they start covering the Reformation. Um, and I also have supplemental reading to use in the second cycle, so I won't cover it. Um, I'll probably get a much simpler book to cover it uh, for the first cycle from first to fourth grade, but um, we'll be using other books to do a more detailed supplemental reading on the Reformation. But we will pick up in book three of the Reformation. So we're not actually reading much of the third book of Story of the World, just because all of this is covered already in greater detail in future Stella Project. So there is really no need to cover it here in Story of the World. So we don't really jump into this then until towards the end of the book at the Reformation. Then we'll jump into book four and we'll read all of book four. So that finishes the cycle. So I will read all of these books from first grade to fourth grade 
and then um, and I will be reading aloud to my child and then in fifth grade they will restart the cycle on their own and then with additional supplemental reading so I had Evan reading his five pages a day and then he also had a couple other books which acted more like free reads um, to complement the periods in history that he was reading um, in his spine so <clears throat> yeah I mean that's basically it um, and if you have any questions about this, if there's something I didn't mention, just shoot me a comment down below, or you can find me on Instagram. I'm pretty active on there. Uh, my handle is Our Living Book. Um, and yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you check out A Picturesque Tale of Progress. Um, it's a really, really lovely series, and we enjoy it a whole lot. So. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.